We If you invite a serpent into your home and dream and run. Hello. Oh, hello, Father. Oh, that's wonderful news. Was your love for me real? In all that we can see. Freedom. We are free. That's it, yours. Hello, Robert. Hello. I was hoping to hear some of your latest, or at least an old poem, perhaps. Another round of the Davidoff, John. Of course, Mr. Robert. Robert's pen has run dry. Robert? I know. Yes. It's a shame. Are you well? I wonder what's up. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. Teaching post. Charterhouse next term. What about your writing? No one needs a war poet anymore. Unless they're dead. People don't like my new poetry. They like this modern, clever stuff. Besides, I need the money. I know. There is no money in poetry. There's no poetry in money either. Well, why don't we spend a few days together, hmm? Like wipe your back and just give your work a proper going over. <laughs> like the good old days at the army depot. I'm yesterday's news, Sass. How are you feeling? Steady as a rock. Grace, on the recommendation of certain members of the teaching staff, I am pleased to offer you the position of assistant headmaster as well as teacher of English here at Charterhouse School. Catherine? Catherine, come, come here. Listen. What are we supposed to be listening to? Do you not hear the nightingale sing? The nightingale has no reason to be singing this late in the year. They usually stop at the end of tune when their nesting season ends. You know, if a nightingale can sing on a chilly autumn morning, as passionately and as sweetly as it does on the night in May, then there is hope for me. Poet should not be merely a stream of passage between the source that is life and the outlet that is poetry. Nancy! Talk to me. Who wrote to you? Laura Riding. Mmm. Well, it's different from anything else I've read. Mm. And she's talking about themes that concern women. Mm. Well, Alan Tate of the Criterion told me that she's just won the group's top literary prize and um, that she's looking to move to England. You think so? Perhaps she wouldn't wish to work with me.
and you'd be content her uh, living with us. Welcome to World's End. Shelley. Mary Shelley, that is. <laughs> Why do you write? Not by time or love or space or beauty. That I may be at all. At all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many people don't know everything about themselves and their... Yes, Mother. Uh, Laura will serve as tutor to Catherine and also... Uh, I turned it down. Robert wanted to concentrate on writing his... Return to Zion at some point. I think that is a perfect idea. We, we, we should start tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Robert, you're forgetting. What? I wanted to ask Laura to come into Oxford with me tomorrow. Oh. A friend of mine's doing a lecture on the virtues of birth control. Should we agree to this, uh, Ooh. Is that all you... I hope you don't mind. I, I woke up with so much energy that I took a walk, and I thought I would make an authentic New York breakfast. My word. <laughs> oh. mm. Yiddish theater, poetry, mm. artists portraying the truth. Mm. The truth is what matters. As do these divine. I haven't had such stimulating company for a long time, so thank you. Mm. <laughs> Dora, we read your poetry again mm. last night. With your permission, I'd like to send your work to... Uh, Virginia and Leonard Wolf, who I'm hoping in turn will publish it in their Hogarth Press. My goodness, it seems you silenced his writing. <laughs> These kind words from a poet like your husband, I wish. Just. Well, here's to a long, prosperous, beautiful partnership. Mm. Here you go. Laura, mm. mm -hmm. you have too much. Too much paint on your brush, so you need to paint from the top down. Yes, but we're not in London, and I'd very much like to get this finished before. No. 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 I hate them all. And round and bright. And what does the remarkable Miss Riding seek? True poetry. Makes the hairs stand on it. And a shiver run down your spine. First thing that comes to your mind. A 
as I walked out that sultry night, I heard the stroke of one attained to her full height. beaming like the sun. wore the moon's cold mask, full of the feverish task in hope of which they can, and watched a grey distraction rise. Eager flame. I want you to be everything to me. And I to you. far from the prying eyes of London. How do you find time to write? Now, Laura and I are collaborators. Nothing more than a... She's a, a friend to Nancy and Nancy. Great, you're such a prick. <laughs> Never. No, I was just catching up with old chums. Our look. I owe it all to Lawrence. How is he? I think about him often. I, I, I don't know what to say. I have six weeks to research. Uh, I accept. So long as you publish the closed caplet. Yes. Who's Lois? I think you are extraordinary. Oh, and I, I was offered the job of writing T. Lawrence's biography. <laughs> I don't understand. <gasps> no. Oh, good Lord. Bloody hell. This meeting of minds, your demons repulsed by Laura's influence. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Cape. Mm. 
Yes, uh, no, nearly, uh, nearly packed. My voice, with its dry creak. Now that I love you, the mind clears, and the heart true mirrors you. Where at my side an early watch you keep, and all self-bruising heads lull to sleep. Right. Well, you must go to London and lend your voice to conversation. I have loved being your inspiration. buying a printing press. As Laura said, it's still stayed writing, but it's so prevalent these days. No, no, it's <laughs> Sir! Are you leaving already? Yes. Robert, your master's calling. Robert? How is it you say your name? Elfriede. Hmm. I thought she'd be an excellent secretary. Ah. Well, well do you have any experience? A, a little, yeah. Can you type? What's type? Let's see, tippen on stenography. Ah, tippen on stenography. <sighs> Elliot's review of my essay. No. He calls my arguments derivative. What? How dare he? And yet I'm surprised. Oh, I had a feeling he would do something like this. He, he'd compromise our friendship. Much planned. It doesn't matter what they say, one jot. Where are you off to? Oh, uh, Cape has been uh, screaming at me to finish my short story. So Alfred has been typing it up and running it over as we go along. So uh, <laughs> I'm sure it will be up to our joint standards. I don't see anyone but you. Door while you're dressed. Who's here? Jeffrey. You know, from the party. The young poet, oh, Irishman. Yeah. He's coming to stay with us. Why? Yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Collection of poems from Ezra Pound. Next. Frost. T.S. Eliot. Mm. It's the size and press. What happened to our library? I'm sorry. The size and press is the name of our new company. Where only the most interesting voices will be heard. That was meant to be our new project. So one definition for every word. A non-male, a, a female man, as it were. Thing perceived amongst other things. Hmm. He will so declare you, pledging his blind allegiance, yet remain secret and uncommitted. Poets or men are single-hearted lovers who adore and trust beyond all reason who die honorably at the gates of hell. His license to do murder. And with honest tears, she thrones each victim. Hello, Nancy. He's been living here with us. How do you do? Jeffrey, this is, this is my wife. <laughs> Catherine, say hello to Jeffrey. Hello. She's shy. Right, well, we were on that train for ever such a long time. I think Catherine might need to stretch her...
Thinking, since the release of the Lawrence book, the interest in the Great War has never been higher. You should consider writing about your experiences on another book. It would take place in ancient Rome. Murder, mystery, intrigue, violence, sex. Jeffrey was all right. Where's Catherine? She's at your sister's and... Could one of you please enlighten me as to what this is all about? No. Probably just running an errand or oh, something. Oh, don't be an idiot. My fault. My fault. Exactly. With your wife, then I could be in bed with Jeffrey right now, this oh, very minute. You, don't you dare pass judgment on my marriage. I live in the world. Where exactly do you propose I... Find him. <laughs> this is a mess. You better get out of here, you don't have fun with the time. I leave him. Do you have no sense of her holiness? Who do you think she is? The fucking Pope? Of course! Robert, Jeffrey, this isn't helping. He's a selfish prick who would prefer to run back to his beloved island and stay with us. You're a liar and a sponger. You couldn't give a damn about Nancy. For God's sake, can't you see? First Laura wanted you, now she wants me. Destroys you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Robert! How are you? Tired. Holiday. I didn't know what else to say. We're going to leave the day after tomorrow. Jeffrey can away with us. I do not deny anything about how good we were together. Catherine proves it. There's a mirror in there. Will you get it? destined to be together. The objects of this story are simple enough. It's an opportunity for a formal goodbye to you and to you and to you and to me and to all that forgetfulness because once all this has been settled in my mind and written down and published it need never be thought about again they persist like an alternate life 
It is good to have you back, Graves. I concur. I've long regarded poetry as a vocation, although I never fully understood why. The poet falls in love. True love is for him the embodiment of the muse. Well, I would seem to be denying you in your true quality of one living invisibly is dead beyond event. How we went together to the land where the dead parade the streets and there met with demons and returned with the demons still treading behind. This does all feel like destiny and I hope that everyone understands the...